So normally if I'm filming my YouTube videos, this piece of the room is sort of the backdrop because it's the tidiest piece of the room. And also because normally there's not as much space up here, so normally at this end of the room, which still is lots of junk, um, normally has the Christmas tree, boxed Christmas decorations and has a lot of stuff piled up here. Because it's Christmas at the moment, it's all downstairs, so the room's actually a lot larger. But yeah, it's our old attic, our, our kind of loft space, so it's a small room really, you can't stand up in this room for example. Probably about four and a half, five foot high, so I can't quite stand. But it's, it's certainly a usable space, I'm really pleased with that up here. And this wall is most of my, my game collection. This is the attic storage area, so I've got a few old VHS tapes, some old computer bits in these boxes, but lots of the shelving and the boxes in the corners um, at the back are just the usual attic stuff, so fancy dress costumes, old photo albums, bits and bobs. These two boxes are just leads and controllers for my consoles. I've got a couple of guitars hiding in the corner. I'm a Fender man. This box here is motorcycle parts so it's got my stock exhaust and other bits and pieces where I've sort of upgraded on the bike I've kept the originals up here if I ever wanted to put it back to stock some f f uh, pictures Star Wars pictures which my wife has vetoed from the house she's not a big Star Wars fan so they're kind of up here no wall space sadly to hang them and this corner which you, you wouldn't see in the videos is just a bit of junk route well it has my guitar amp down there and lots of kind of box toys that I'm kind of a bit geeky that I've hung on to. Um, this is a poster for a band, one of the bands I was in back in the days. Um, something that has changed is I had a massive Marshall amp here which I've loaned to my dad and borrowed back a, one of my amps that I'd lent him, a little Roland Cube, so it's about a quarter of the size of the amp I used to have up here so it has freed up a bit of space and I have actually tidied this corner slightly. but. You know, lurking in there, I've got a, a Yoda toy, some Star Wars potato heads, um, boxes for mobile phones, a lightsaber here, uh, big tracks, that's a box for my old MacBook, um, yeah, and a few boxed board games, Lego sets, things like that. Um, old monitors, always useful. That's an Acorn monitor, which I was kind of give, donated. There's a box which just has a, you know, a handful of comics. I don't really have many comics. Uh, the Star Wars ones at the top, more recent, but then some kind of old DC and things like at the bottom. Um, lots of kind of Kevin Smith, and I think I've got Clerks, the comic book and things hiding in there, but my very humble comic collection. Um, that's a plug and play game there. But yeah, I think I've probably covered the, the junk end of the room. So, and I've got my main collection along the firewall the actual sort of gaming area in my man cave and then um, some of the more modern, more recent systems on this wall here. So I'll go through what I have in my collection. So if I start on the back wall here, lots of consoles and hardware kind of along the top, a few other bits and pieces scattered on the shelves but mostly along the top. I've got some systems kind of connected to the TV which I'll go through in a bit and I have boxed consoles in the corner, so things that you can see like the Wii Mini, the Master System 2, the PS3 Fat at the bottom there. Some consoles are in their boxes, so I have got some which you won't see out, but I've, I've got hidden in the corner. What have I got here? I have the 360 steering wheel, force feedback, some bongos for the GameCube, E2, R2, and in terms of the games, I start with PS2. That collection has grown a lot since my last room tour video, so it's probably nearly doubled in size. Just because they're so inexpensive at the moment, it's a great time to pick up PS2 games. They they really they literally are pence. Um, I've kind of bought bundles of ten games for a five uh, um, 50p games. Um, so yeah, picked a few up at car boot sales and throughout the year. I haven't really actively been looking to increase my PS2 collection, but I just can't turn down a 50p game. I, can't walk away from those kind of bargains, so that's really grown. A um, few sports titles and bits in there that I'm not overly, you know, excited about, but I have got things like the Grand Theft Auto games. They're fantastic. Gran Turismo. Um, they're great. What else have I got? Um, Metal Slug. That's a um, 
obviously an arcade classic, Neo Geo Classic. Some of the Need for Speed games, you know, there's some great titles on the on the PlayStation 2. SSX is great. Um, so yeah, that collection's sort of really grown and taken over. Um, PS1, PS2, Darth, um, stuff Darth Vader given to me by the awesome YouTuber Gates McCoy. Check him out. Uh, Destiny poster at the back there, which I picked up at a Eurogamer a few years ago. Then my PS1 collection, uh, kind of fairly humble collection, but there's great system, love it. I'm not really collecting for PS1 as such, although I must pick up Parappa the Rapper, which is one of my faves. That's the only game I'm desperate to get my hands on for PS1. Um, my super humble um, Dreamcast collection, which um, consists of one game. Um, I only picked that up this year actually second hand my Dreamcast so I didn't have the console until recently. I had one back in the day but I've only just bought the hardware again this year and I must get some get more games for it. Um, what do I need to get for Dreamcast? Definitely Jet Set Radio which is an absolute classic. I love that game so I'll pick that up. Hopefully more than one game if I do a room tour in a year's time I'll have actually got a couple more Dreamcast titles. Um, but yeah, PS1, PS1 below. Um, and then, again, a small collection in my GameCube collection, so just a few titles across the bottom. Uh, on top I have got Sonic Adventure, which was given to me by another YouTuber, the awesome Ed Gizzy, another guy I definitely recommend you check out. Um, yeah, it's a humble collection. Again, I had a GameCube back in the day. That was actually stolen, that system, so I've just been building up the games collection for that. Again, not too many more I'm after. I would like to get uh, Mario Kart, because it's... One of the few Mario Kart versions I haven't got, the GameCube version. Uh, Mario Sunshine I must pick up as well, that was a game I played a lot of back in the day when I had my first GameCube, but yeah. Um, and in the box is a, a, a box controller, it's just in really nice condition, so I've kept it in the box there. Um, PS2, DeLorean, any Back to the Future fans. Um, Mega Drive 2, that's... Um, Kind of a modded one so it sort of will play games from any region 60 hertz and it's got my everdrive in it which is a great bit of kit atari 7800 and jaguar there a couple of atari consoles underneath we have sega mega cd which is a, an amazing system add-on i really like so i've got quite a few titles for that one um one of my bigger collections I don't think I'll be adding to it sadly because the price of Mega CD titles has really shot up so I don't think I'll be getting any more but I've got quite a set and it's actually a system that's, that there's an impressive amount of titles out for. Um, so all Mega CD at the top, mostly Mega CD at the bottom. Um, now a handful of uh, 3DO titles at the top so Need for Speed Road Rash for 3DO. See the games you've got to have for that system. Um, and then a few kind of demo discs across the top, some which I've made little spine cards for. Um, Chaos Engine I think is CD32, the Commodore console, which I haven't actually got. I used to have a CD-ROM for my Amiga 1200 back in the day, I used to play that on. Um, but yeah, so it's those shelves there, moving along. Um, so there's my tie with a title in it actually, Kasumi Ninja, which is pants actually, it's an awful game. It sort of wants to be Mortal Kombat, but it's not very good. Um, I've only got a few games for the Jag. Uh, underneath a sort of handheld territory, so at the top there I've got sort of an R4 super cards, loyalty, piracy enabling cards for the Nintendo handhelds. Uh, these box titles are for the Nokia N-Gage and then lurking at the back I've got kind of loose Game Gear, Game Boy game, some PSP. Um, very small box selection of PSP and Vita games and at the bottom. Um, my humble Sega Saturn collection which I think is about or five games, some for the Sega 32X, some box Game Gear games, they're actually in a good, really good shape, that's a complete inbox. And these tool cases are the Sony Mega CD um, games, they came in these, these larger cases. Game Gear hiding at the bottom there. And on this shelf, some more handheld, so in that sort of crocheted cover at the top is in a Game Boy Color, standard Game Boy below that, Game Boy Advance, um, some LCD games to the side, a couple of boxed um, Advance games, and then boxed DS and 3DS games below. Nothing particularly noteworthy apart from maybe this sealed one at the end, the Game & Watch collection, which is 
sealed and was only available via the Club Nintendo, so I'm hoping that might be a, a rarer title one day. Underneath is boxed N64 with a couple of boxed SNES to the, to the side, tucked up there, and then loose N64 cuts at the bottom. Um, Hardware-wise, I think you all know what these consoles are. There's the um, Mega Drive, Mega CD, 32X combo. Below that we have um, a couple of Jag games, Tempest and Alien, the two games you really need to have for that system, the best titles I think available for the console. Um, some loose Atari carts at the top, uh, the NES, NES and Super Nintendo, these cuts are above those. So shimmy along, there's my little Dreamcast hiding there, uh, Saturn 3 do hiding at the back there, and Xbox, and Mega Drive Genesis cartridges, so a few shelves of those, some at the top, some below, some next door, and below are Sega Master System games with a Master System Model 1 in front of them. There are two further shelves hiding in the corner. Uh, the bottom shelf are boxed Commodore Amiga games and then the above shelf there's just lots of floppy disks generally for the Amiga. And my lovely Force Awakens Stormtrooper guarding my room. And a few boxes behind him, so boxes for Xbox One which is out. Star Wars 360 which is a lovely looking console and obviously I love Star Wars so I really like that console but it's, it's back in the box thanks to um, backwards compatibility, good work Microsoft. Um, and then I think then my Wii U box and a few other empty boxes hiding there. Uh, Monster, which at the moment isn't connected to anything, but I have been using that for Raspberry Pi and a Samsung Dex, which is hiding there. Behind them is my Vectrex, which is an amazing machine. Um, my controller's a bit poorly. I actually have a gap here, a Vectrex shaped gap, and I'm going to be borrowing sorts of on a on a loan actually, another Vectrex scene, so I'm hoping to do a video on that and whilst I'm storing it will probably go in that gap there. Um, just a wireless keyboard and mouse which I use with the Raspberry Pi controller, um, kind of charging unit for the Wii U. Uh, at the top there is a PS Slim. Um, I have a PS3 Fat which I bought actually a launch one, one of the, probably the most expensive consoles I've ever bought. Um, they had a, um, older ones started to overheat and have issues, so I put it into its box, kept it, and it's, it's all working perfectly. I just wanted to keep it that way, and then I picked up a cheap second-hand um, PS3 Slim, which is the one that I do my playing on nowadays, and is running DuckTales at the moment, a game I love. So. TVs, I've got a, a lovely 1080 monitor which isn't doing anything at the moment. Um, and then I have, which which is very kind of given to me by my friend Ted, you're a star. And uh, this television here, which I bought for £20, a Toshiba, um, £20, a friend of a friend. It's been fantastic, it's got free view built in. It's not 1080, it's only 720, but it, for 20 quid, as a cheap television to put in this room when I first got it, it's been great. And it's still the one I tend to do most of my gaming on, really, because it's got built in audio, whereas the Samsung hasn't. Um, so yeah, and my Toshiba £20 bargain television, but it's got a few HDMI ports, so I'm very happy with that. Um, PS3 on that at the moment, here's a NES Classic Mini, great little console, really had a lot of fun with that. I have also got the Super Nintendo, um, which is normally living on here as well. It's in its box at the moment because I actually took it away on holiday with me recently, and me and my brother-in-law spent a lot of time playing two-play on that. Um, I'm waffling. <laughs> Underneath the TV is my PS4, it's the Star Wars uh, edition. Um, I don't think that was up here this time last year, it was still downstairs, but all of my consoles have now come upstairs with Tolly being a, quite a mobile toddler, I just thought they're safest up here out of his way. That's my Wii U, which was soft mod modded to run off games off the hard disk, but having a few issues and I haven't used it in a long time, I need to give my Wii U a little bit of TLC. I am hoping to pick up Breath of the Wild for that soon, so I'm hoping I'll be playing on it lots. Um, 
That is my Xbox One. And over here is my Amiga 1200, which has a compact flash hard disk in uh, and an accelerator, an 030 accelerator. Um, love that machine, it's one of my favourite things. Um, and I have got some various adapters so I can kind of transfer games by compact flash um, from the PC downstairs, which is very cool. And then in the corner, lots of empty boxes lurking in this big kind of pile here. Some not empty, so the Wii Mini is in that box. I bought that inexpensively and I just think it's quite cool because it's so dinky. Uh, Master System 2, which is in the box. My uh, launch PlayStation 3. That's so that's one with the extra kind of USB sockets on the front and the card slots and all that jazz. Backwards compatibility with uh, PS2 titles. Um, that's tucked away safely in this box. Um, down the side here is my Atari Lynx Model 1 um, game collection. This very high-tech wooden box here is my usual filming station for my YouTube videos. So that's how they're made, just using a tripod I bought for £1. It has a spring clip, I just put my mobile phone in there, point it across um, with this in the background. And that's how I do my very high-tech YouTube video, so it's just a mobile phone and a one-pound holder. Um, and this wooden box is also where I am currently hiding Mrs. 16-Bit's Christmas presents. Um, it's not quite Christmas yet, so um, her presents are hidden up here. So I'll just move the box out of the way. In this corner I have my acorn, which I did some videos on earlier in the year, gifted to me by a lovely chap called Neil. Sadly it's completely dead, the motherboard's um, really damaged, but it, as I said to him it's got a safe home here so it's up on the shelf. I'm not sure what will happen or what my plans are for that. I don't think it's repairable, but I have thought about using it as a Raspberry Pi case and running uh, the RISC OS on that. So it's a, maybe a future project, but it's, as I say, just a cool, cool thing to have up in the man cave. Uh, some retro magazines and bits and pieces. Underneath I have the original Xbox games um, on a couple of shelves. Next to that I have a small collection of current gen Xbox One games. And next to that some HD DVDs, because I did have, and I do have, it's in that pile somewhere, a boxed HD DVD external drive for the 360 and it was a format I, I've got a few titles for. Um, they live just there. And then underneath 360 games. I haven't got a huge amount of 360 games but they're all there. And then this is new. This is actually a shoe rack which fitted perfectly and has been added this year. And this is my kind of PlayStation 3 um, collection. So I've got PS3 titles across the two levels and then hiding just behind my little man cave sign is my PS4 collection. So again just a handful of games really. I've pretty much for this console generation, PS4, Xbox One. It's when my game playing has you know suffered a little bit. I've become a father. Um, and yeah, I haven't really been collecting or gaming so much for the for the newer systems. Retro magazines. These are my Club Kawasaki magazines because I ride and love a Kawasaki. At the bottom, it looks properly messy, but they are just lots of old toys and random bits and pieces sort of crammed in there. So the light switch, the high-tech light switch for the one light I have up here in the in the attic room. Uh, next to my PS4, PS3 shelves are. Nintendo Wii. Um, so Nintendo Wii games across the top, uh, iPod Classic and uh, one of the original iPods. Um, both still working but sort of redundant and I you know, don't need them any longer with mobile phones having amazing storage and streaming and, and music in your pocket that way. Um, at the bottom are my Wii U games, big boxed Wii games. This is a little tray just of junk of spare batteries, tape, glue, because I do tend to mend toys and things up here. Um, it's my little mending station. Um, Butterbeer, any Harry Potter fans? That's a Butterbeer glass from the Warner Brothers Harry Potter Studios. Um, pens. And that's it, and then we've pretty much done the entire room.
Um, so I'll just zoom back, show you a little bit more. Oh, and I've left my wooden box <laughs> tripod stand in the middle. But yeah, that is my my man cave. Um, as I say, normally we have Christmas tree and Christmas decorations piling up here, so that's going to take a bit of space up. And I do have a chair coming up here. I've got a kind of a little old IKEA chair. So um, whether or not I'll be doing videos like this again in the future, I'm going to be really pushed for space for most of the year when the chair and the Christmas decks but back up here. But yeah, this is where, whenever I get a chance, I come up and do a little spot of gaming. So yeah, I have a few of my like, handheld consoles just here. I mean, there's a few others lurking about. Um, PlayStation Vita, PSP, two great bits of hardware. The Vita I love, actually. It's a lovely little machine for console. And um, this is my 3DS. This is noteworthy in that it is one of the new 3DSs and it's the Ambassadors Edition. So this was sort of released before the, the new 3DS really hit the market. So kind of in limited quantities, I think. But it's just the new 3DS that's so got the, uh, the right-hand thumbstick. But yeah, the Ambassadors Edition with the... Nintendo kind of logo in Japanese and then at the bottom as well 